morning everybody, happy Monday, happy Monday, happy Labor Day if that's what you're celebrating. Uh, I know it's a holiday and sometimes I skip but I figured I'm still going to do a happy Monday, I'm just going to do it a little later. Um, because I believe in taking time to rest and take care of ourselves and self-care and I encourage you to do the same thing. So what I want to talk about today is transformative justice compared to punitive justice. So we're very familiar with punitive justice, which is if somebody does something wrong or if they hurt someone, we're going to punish them. And that's the idea that through punishment, people are going to learn their lesson and they're not going to do it again. We're very familiar with this and we have various opinions when it comes to how well it's working. I'll let you decide if you think it's working. The idea of transformative justice is the idea that the person that did the harm is actually suffering through trauma, pain, fear, whatever that is, and harm ensued. And the person that was hurt can experience and going through the process of appreciating that and forgive the person for doing the harm. So in transformative justice, basically the person that did the hurt or did something that hurt someone else has the opportunity to appreciate what's going on within them that results in something that's hurtful to others. So it's a matter of self-discovery and something that we don't always have in the punitive justice system and very much something that we want to focus in the transformative justice system. Where I come to be cautious about that process is, one, I believe in balance. That's just me, that's where I'm at, that's, that's how I coach my clients, it's like it's about balance. The idea that transformative justice is going to be the solution to everything um, is not something I'm going to get into. The reason for it is that for someone to transform, they have to be ready for it. They have to. I invite you to raise your hand and mine is going to stay glued down is when was the last time that you were ready very willingly and very fast to change something about yourself uh-huh where's your hand yeah because when someone tells you hey this is not working you need to change we raise our hand no we don't <laughs> even if we tell ourselves hey next week i'm going to start going to the gym every day no we don't do that it's very rare change is super hard it is extremely hard. And when it comes to transformative justice, we're talking about trauma, fear, pain. How easy is it to go there and really change things? It's so hard. So my cautious is, I believe in transformative justice. I totally do. And I'm a really big supporter of it. My cautious is, if uh, we push in that direction to the extent that we really believe that's the only thing that's going to take place, one, it's ego, and ego never wins. Ego is actually something that's very counterproductive. Two, when people are not ready to change, they will not change. <laughs> There's just, I mean, if that's one of the absolute biggest truths on the planet, if someone does not want to change or they're not ready to change, they will not change. So we can tell them all day, hey, we're going to transform, it's going to be great. It is not going to happen. People only change when they are ready. So my options as a third type of justice is the exclusive justice, which is people are on their journey and they can do whatever they need to do at the pace that they need to do it because change takes time. And when they are ready, then we can make it happen. So I'm not saying we need to throw everybody in jail. I'm not saying we need to kick everybody out of our lives forever in a day. What I'm saying is we need to respect everybody's process and we need to give them the time that they need to appreciate what their trauma is, what their fear is. Brené Brown calls it the gremlins. What is it about what's going on within them that is a source of hurt and pain to others? Because if we get stuck in one system, that it's punitive or it's transformative or it's exclusive, we are stuck. Stuck is not about balance and stuck is not about growth. So that is my offer of 
Yes, transformative justice is great. However, if we stick to it, thinking that it's going to happen every single time, people are going to get hurt. Because expecting someone to change that is not ready to change is going to hurt somebody. Usually the one who's trying to transform them. <laughs> it doesn't work. So that's my offer. It's like I believe in transformative justice. To a certain extent, I do believe in punitive justice as well. Because sometimes it's fast and painful and, and messy and it's not for everything, it's not for everyone, but sometimes it's necessary. And I believe in exclusive justice as well, which is if you're not going to play nice, you don't get to play with us, right? So we have more than one option and my activist friends are going to kick my butt for even doing this live, but hey, this is where I'm at. So uh, we'll have those very passionate conversations later. And if you have any feedback when it comes to that, I would love to hear from you. And until next week, reach for the greatest version of yourself. You can do it.